What's up you guys? My name is Aubrey and this is my channel and today I want to talk about freelancing and I want to talk about some of the best gigs that you can pursue in the world of freelancing on platforms like Fiverr and Upwork. Now if you're somebody who is looking for a way to make extra money, potentially $20 to $40 per hour, and you don't necessarily have any background expertise but you're willing to learn, then make sure to watch this video until the very end because I'll be breaking down exactly what you need to do and exactly how you can pursue these side gigs that I'm talking today as well as the potential income that you could make from these side gigs as well. So let's get started. Now, I believe that freelancing is one of the best ways to make extra money in your free time. Number one is because freelancing doesn't require any background experience or credentials. All you have to do is be willing to learn whatever craft you're gonna be selling or offering in the freelancing marketplace. Secondly, freelancing is one of the few side gigs out there that allow for you to do it at your own time. You can do it at night when you get home from work. You can do it very early in the morning before you go to work. You can do it on your lunch break. There is no set schedule that you have to adhere to. So there is a ton of flexibility. And third is the fact that freelancing can be done remotely, meaning you can do it from the comfort of your own home. You can do it while your kids are taking a nap or in the parking lot of picking your kids up from school. You can do it virtually anywhere. So the flexibility and the opportunity that comes along with freelancing is, in my opinion, beyond any other side gig that exists out there. No upfront cost, flexibility, and the ability to do it remotely. You can't get much better than that. Now, when it comes to freelancing, you have a number of different platforms that you can turn to to help connect you with companies that need freelancers. But in my opinion, I think the two best platforms out there are Upwork and Fiverr. And I would argue that Upwork is better than Fiverr, but really it comes down to personal opinion. Now, these two platforms are very similar in the sense that they both connect freelancers with companies that need freelancers but the way that the sites are laid out are a bit different. Now, I view Fiverr kind of like a freelancing marketplace. Whenever you join Fiverr, you really should have a decent idea of what you wanna do and what skill set you wanna offer before joining the platform. And whenever you join the platform, you need to create a listing offering your product or your service for sale, and then people can go in and they can purchase that product or service from you. This is very on a case-by-case -case basis. It's on a contract-by-contract, product-by-product basis and there isn't a ton of like long-term relationship building in the world of Fiverr. It's very much buying a product, buying a service, and then the relationship is over. Whereas Upwork, on the other hand, is more like a freelancing hiring platform. Rather than buying the individual product or service that the freelancer offers, you are hiring that freelancer on a short-term contract. And so while Fiverr is more like a marketplace, I would say Upwork is more like a hiring platform. It's where instead of going onto the platform to find a product or service that matches what you need, you instead go and find a freelancer that could potentially complete that product or service. So I would say it's kind of highlighting the freelancer, the person completing the work rather than the work itself. And though these two platforms and these two ideas may feel very similar on the surface, the way that the sites are structured are quite a bit different. And because of that, some people find one platform better than the other. And I know in my case, I feel as though Upwork is a bit more advantageous for full-time freelance work, but they are both great in their own ways. And so whenever I go through these gigs that I wanna talk about in this video, keep in mind that they can both work on Fiverr and Upwork, and it really is a matter of what platform you prefer and which one works best for you and determining which one you wanna offer these gigs on. And additionally, you can offer them on both. You don't have to just offer a service on Upwork or just offer a service on Fiverr. You can absolutely do both platforms and offer your services on both marketplaces. Now with that, let's dig in to the very first gig and that is internet marketing. I think that internet marketing is one of the best and one of the most lucrative ways to make money in the world of the gig economy and in the world of freelancing. Now, an entry level internet marketer can make anywhere between 20, 30, sometimes even $40 per hour. And really what internet marketing is, is it's just marketing on the internet. It's assisting in the process of creating digital ads for Facebook or Instagram, engaging with your customers on social media like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, things like that. It's creating newsletters, it's managing a newsletter mailing list, and so much more. The thing that's great about internet marketing is the fact that anybody can learn how to do it, as there are tons of resources online that can teach you exactly what you need to know. 
Internet marketing can start out as something as simple as creating posts for Facebook or Instagram. Just simply creating the photo or even taking the photo from your customer and then creating a caption and giving that caption hashtags. It can be something as entry level as that to as intricate as creating Google AdWords, as creating Facebook ads, as creating analytical reports. It really does have a full spectrum of what this type of gig entails. And because of that, there is something for everybody depending on your skill level in the internet marketing space. Now, like I mentioned a few moments ago, one of the reasons why I love this side gig is because of the fact that anybody can learn how to do it. But there are a handful of other reasons as to why I love it as well. Number one is the fact that internet marketing is something that is not going away anytime soon. This skill and this craft is going to be needed for years to come, and I don't see it disappearing at all in the future, at least not in my lifetime. The fact is all companies, regardless of size and success level or industry of that company need to market their business business on the internet. And there are a lot of companies out there that can't afford to hire somebody full time in order to do that. And for those companies, the right move for them would be to hire a freelancer. And even for some companies who are just starting out, they may just want to hire an entry level freelancer to do the internet marketing for them in order to save money. And that's whenever you can come in. Now, I know that this freelancing gig works because it's what I personally did. Back in 2018, whenever I lost my business, I really leaned into freelancing and I got my feet wet in the world of internet marketing through scheduling really basic posts on Instagram. Then after about two years, a year and a half, I was able to increase my portfolio of the work that I did in the world of internet marketing. And as a result, I expanded into other platforms like Facebook marketing, Google AdWords, and so much more. And as a result, by the time I ended my freelancing career last year, I was making about 30 to $40 per hour doing this type of work. So I know firsthand that this is absolutely something that is possible and reasonable to accomplish in a relatively short period of time. And you can start your freelancing career out making $10 per hour and within a few months you can grow to $20 per hour and within about a year to a year and a half's time you could be charging in that $30 to $40 range and because of that I think that internet marketing is an excellent and a very lucrative side hustle to pursue on platforms like Fiverr and Upwork. Now, the second side gig that I want to talk about is another one that I did in my own freelancing career. And funny enough, it's one that I still do to this day on a one-off basis. And that is creating websites for people and businesses that need those websites created. Now, I love this side gig for a handful of reasons. Number one is it's a very high paying side gig. For an entry level website developer, you could make between 20 to $30 per hour building out a website. And for more experienced website developers, you can make significantly more than that and the thousands of dollars per project. The fact is, this is one of those side gigs that really pays you incredibly well if you understand what you're doing. And if you're able to complete the job extremely well and extremely professionally, if you're able to do it quickly, then you can make a ton of money. Now, website development, similar to internet marketing, is one of those side gigs that anybody can learn. It really is just a matter of sitting down and putting in the effort, the time, and the energy into learning the craft. And again, similarly to internet marketing, it's one of the few side gigs out there that can turn into a legitimately lucrative career. Website development is a great career path, and it's something that can make you a lot of money long term. It's even something that could eventually turn into a business that you can start by hiring employees to do the website development for you. Like I mentioned earlier, the pay for a website developer is extremely competitive. And for an entry level website developer who has a couple of months experience, you could easily expect to get paid $20 per hour doing this type of gig. And once you gain more experience, you not only are able to charge more, but you can also get faster at doing the work, which means that you can spin into charging per project rather than per hour. And a project that maybe once took you 20 hours to complete, can now maybe take you five to 10 hours to complete and you can make more money off of that project than you were originally. So there is just a ton of potential with this type of side gig. But like I said, 20 to $40 per hour is a pretty standard price for this type of work. And if you're willing to put in the time, energy, and effort into learning how to build websites on platforms like WordPress, for example, you can absolutely make $20 per hour doing this type of gig. And the best part is it's 100% free to get started. You can do it from the comfort of your own home and you can do it at your own schedule. It's a win-win situation all the way around. 
The third psychic I want to talk about is one that I've never actually done personally, but I've been seeing a ton about this side gig online. Now, I don't know if like CNBC is starting to target me their ads or what the case is, but I clicked on one CNBC article about this side gig a couple of days ago, and I have been just slammed with CNBC articles about this type of side gig ever since. And that is voiceover work. Now we all know what voiceover work is, but I think what all of us are sleeping on is the income potential that comes along with this type of work. Now voiceover work is just that, doing voiceovers and getting paid in order to do it. So this could be creating a voiceover for a company manual or a company instructional video. It could be doing a voiceover for a YouTube channel or for a TV show or for a movie. There are tons of different aspects and kind of tons of different ranges that this side gig could entail. But the thing that's important to note here is that voiceover work is number one, easy to do from the comfort of your own home with the right equipment. Number two, anybody can learn how to do it and anybody can perfect the craft of voiceover work. And number three, you can make a lot of money doing it and you can make that money extremely efficiently. In doing research for this video, I found out that the average entry level voiceover artist can make anywhere between $15 and $30 per hour. And a number of different articles that I found online, like I mentioned, with CNBC, I was able to find that there are a number of people who are making six to seven figures doing this type of side gig to the point where it's no longer a side gig and it is instead their full-time income. Now, admittedly, this type of side gig isn't as accessible as some of the other side gigs that I've talked about in this video. And there are some cases where people may simply not be able to do voiceover work. But I do think that for people who are interested and are able to do this type of work, this is an incredibly lucrative, flexible, and easy to get started side gig that you can do on either Fiverr or Upwork, and I definitely think you should check it out. The fourth and final side gig that I want to talk about today is also one of the side gigs that I debated on even including in this list because of the fact that I would argue that this is one of those few side gigs that you either are good at it or you probably are not, or you're interested in it or you simply are not, and that is graphic design. Now, when it comes to graphic design, I think that there's kind of two camps. I think that you have the camp of the person who's super artistic, who's very gifted, who is really great at this type of thing. And thus they would be incredibly successful in the world of graphic design. On the flip side, you have people like me who are not very artistic, who are very bad at things like Photoshop and other graphic design platforms, and no matter how hard they try, they would never excel at this type of gig. Now, if you are somebody who is gifted in the world of arts, if you consider yourself to be passionate about art or you at least wanna get better at art, then graphic design is a really great side hustle for you to pursue, and I'm gonna tell you why. So number one is the fact that there are a ton of different spectrums of graphic design, and there are a bunch of different companies who are looking for different levels of expertise when it comes to this type of side gig. You may think to yourself that you may not be talented enough, or you might not have a large enough portfolio, or you may not have enough experience to be in the world of graphic design, but you're completely wrong. You can join graphic design and join this industry, whether you are entry level or whether you have a high level of expertise, because regardless of where you are on the spectrum, there is somebody out there looking for your skill set. There are smaller companies out there with a smaller budget, and thus they may be looking for a more entry level designer. Alternatively, there are large large companies who have a large budget and they may be willing to shell out the money to hire an expert designer. So regardless of what type of experience level you have, there are jobs out there that you can find. Secondly is the fact that I think that there are a few side hustles out there that combine passion with income as cohesively as graphic design does. I think this is a really great way to turn your passion into an income stream and then also turning it into a career. And this is a really great side hustle where you can make a lot of money doing what you love. And there aren't a lot of opportunities to do that in the world of a nine to five job. And thirdly is the fact that graphic design, similar to the other side hustles that we've spoken about today, you can oftentimes do it at your own schedule as long as you adhere to the deadlines that you've agreed to. And you can also do it remotely from the comfort of anywhere you'd like to. And this allows for you to have a lot of flexibility so that you could do this in addition to your nine to five job, in addition to going to school, in addition to taking care of friends or family or other life obligations. And because of that, I think that this is a really great side hustle for anybody to pursue, regardless of your availability. Now, in doing research for this video, I was quoted that an entry-level graphic designer could expect to earn anywhere between $25 and 
$100 per hour. And more experienced graphic designers can earn upwards of $150 to $200 per hour. So there is quite a lot of range and a lot of income potential that you can have with this type of side gig. And similar to the ones that I've spoken about in this video, I do think that this is one of the few side gigs out there that you can spin off into a full-fledged career and eventually turn it into a legitimate graphic design business. Also with graphic design, I think Upwork and Fiverr are really excellent platforms in order to pursue this. Fiverr is a great place where you can offer specific graphic design products and Upwork is a great place to go to if you're looking for those more long-term graphic design contracts. Both are really great options if you're wanting to pursue the world of graphic design. Now with that being said, you guys, I wanted to talk about this because I think it's a really interesting topic and I really do believe that all of the side gigs that I've talked about today are legitimate avenues that you could pursue to not only find a lucrative side hustle that's 100% remote, but also find a side hustle that could turn into a full-fledged career. And there is a lot of opportunities in all of the side gigs that we've discussed today. But like always, I would love to hear your thoughts. If you have any questions, comments, if you have anything to add, make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.